well we are here this is pretty amazing place you know this is a uh, kind of a uh, landowner agreed private residence we got rice fields uh, and we're gonna be fishing the lake that is connected to these rice fields and a lot of the water runs off so when the water is moving you have a you have a better bite so we're gonna be targeting some bass largemouth bass there's also crappie here carp alligators gar there's there's a lot of different things that are that 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 um that you kind of have to keep an eye out for uh 27 acres that is connected to another 45 uh 2700 acres that's connected to another 4500 acres so this is a lot of country out here and it's it's pretty awesome and pretty amazing uh to be invited out here uh so thank you again john for having me out here but uh yeah we're gonna get fishing we're gonna get catching so but thanks for coming back subscribe like comment share this is texas all water fishing so when john said you know what reuben you do a lot of salt water we're let's put some all water in it let's put some fresh water in it so that's what we're doing today Mama gator here. Okay. And there's, there's her little babies. We'll see them in this canals right here. Uh huh. There's your lakes. There's one. This is 100 acres here. There's 100 acres there. There's another one in behind this one. Uh -huh. and another one in behind that one. And there's uh, two big cul or three big culverts that go underneath this road right here. And that's how the water gets from one lake to the other. Okay. So what is that? That's uh. Explain what this is what a, that what is. Call it crappie pole. Crappie pole. And this jig right here is uh, it's been like a catch-all. Good crappie, big bass. And I'll just show you. Let's walk over here. Look at the little gators. See that one laying right there? Oh, I sure do. See that hole right there? That's usually yeah. the mama lady. No real on it, huh? Oh, that was something right there. Gar. A gar, huh? Uh -huh. Oh, what? Wow. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, so that was a big splash. That was a big splash. <laughs> that was a big bass. Oh my gosh. You ready? Just hanging out in that corner, huh? Just anywhere along here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> awesome. Boy. Chicken boy. Is that one okay. right there? The bubber clucker. No, if, what, yeah. I think it's what if you, it's called, if you've yeah. got a lead head set up for that, yeah. put that on. Try yeah. that. Yeah, if not that one, this one. Okay. And probably a crawfish mimic is what we're going here. Yeah. If you want, once you try that one, I'll put this one on. Okay. And then we'll see. So I'm going to be fishing with the crappie pole setup. And also, 
I'm going to be fishing with the Bubba Clunker. Uh, I have this golden with a lot of gold flakes in it. Um, use about 15 pound Yozuri fluorocarbon leader line and also fishing with the lightest jig head I can find. <laughs> oh, he popped it. There's another one right there. Oh, look at that guy. Man, that might tie my record for biggest fish ever caught. Come on. Biggest bass. It's not very. I think that might tie my record. Biggest bass right here. Ah! You got him. So awesome. Look at that guy. That's a. Uh... <laughs> Personal best on the first cast. <laughs> they don't get very big in the pond. He's he's thick. Little yeah, thick guy. Oh my gosh. That thing was huge. Y'all see that? I'm fishing with like a, a chicken boy Bubba Clunker. Clucker. And this is a salty head jig head. I'm going to try to go for that big one. He's been over there for a few times now. Oh, let's see if we can get out of that. That's a good one. That's a good one. He nailed that. It's a, hey, it's, it works. <laughs> that little beauty. I think that's the same one. Oh. Real, 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 real. <laughs> Oh, that's a good size one. It's the biggest one of the day, I think. No? No. That's a good size. Yeah, what, what size are you after? I'm after the six and seven pounders. And how much is that one, you think? Uh, maybe half pound. Half a pound? Yeah. Maybe, maybe a pound. Yeah. All right, so I just got dropped off here. John is running the landowner uh, to another spot real fast so i am here by my lonesome dove and uh <clears throat> got a crappie pole never used one of these before uh, just used it a few minutes ago so one of the things that he told me was when you're approaching the water's edge kind of go carefully and pay attention all right it unwraps there and we're gonna Pull this plug out. There's the plug. And just all comes out. I've never used one of these before. Used it for the first time just a few minutes ago. And uh, yeah, no reel, so it's kind of weird. No to really put my hand on it. So water's moving out of here, so you want moving some moving water. Kind of being careful, looking for snakes and gators and all that fun stuff. All right, so let's drop this down and big old spider web oh my gosh I hate to mess with that guy big old thick spider web so let's see if we can get a fish in here <laughs> I really don't have too much of a clue what I'm doing <laughs> I'm just faking it uh, I'm just faking it honestly I don't know what the hell I'm doing <laughs> I don't know I don't know, I'm just uh...
There we go. Ooh, that one's heavy. That one's pulling drag. <laughs> Ooh, and he came off too. Look at that guy. That is. Yeah. It's got to be the BP right here. That's a nice one. Ah, oh, that's a nice one. Let's put him back in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's a guard. There we go! Come on, baby! <laughs> first, first fish on a cane pole, or a uh, crappie pole, rather, cane pole. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm not. I don't know the the lingo, the terminology. There we go. <laughs> so that's an H and H. Okay. okay. You seen those? Yeah, I have seen those. He's not a big guy, but he's my guy. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Golly, that's a nice one. Look at his color. That's pretty. And that's with that H&H, &H, huh? Mm-hmm. Is a nice fish. Well, I'm back at the house. You know, I had a tremendous amount of fun out there. You know, John, just thank you very much for having me or inviting me out and, and come fish, uh, fish with you. You know, I met John a few weeks ago through Captain Cody, and John's like, you know, you are Texas all-water fishing, but there's not a lot of all-water fishing in your channel. Let's go and get some freshwater fish. I'm like, I am down, I am game. You just tell me when you wanna go and I'll make myself available. And today was a day, you know, we went and we fished uh, on somebody's property and they have rice fields and we were fishing like right on the edge of about a thousand uh, acre 
lake and the water flows through some of the area that we're fishing some of the coverts and some of these little man-made levees and then it pours into the rice fields and we're a little early in the year for that so john told me in about a couple months around june the water is going to be flowing a lot more and then that's when the the bites really aggressive and you start getting into some of those big big bass and uh, i can't wait i can't wait for that to happen and we had a little bit of a high pressure system too so that kind of choked the bite out a little bit and some of the water was a little dirty because like i said they just started moving some of the water flowing the water through so uh I can't wait to go back. I really can't. And I had so much fun. You know, just driving around. I mean, it's just tens and thousands of acres and just driving around and going from one little hole to the other. Just kind of hole hopping uh, for bass. And uh, bass, gar, crappie, um, carp, it's a bunch, catfish, a bunch of different fish out there. A lot of gators, too. We saw a lot of gators. And uh, I, we saw a few gators, but there's a lot of gators out there. And, uh, yeah, so I just had a lot of fun, you know. I, I, I expressed to him. I told him, I said, you know, I'm just, I'm an inner city guy. I'm not use of all this stuff, you know. I don't know how they grow rice. And he's telling me about how they grow the rice and the crawfish and on the fields and, and all this stuff. And, uh, John actually was nice enough to give me some canned pickles that he grew out of his own backyard. And uh, also got some eggs, too. So thanks again, John. Um truly blessing meeting you and i had fun i hope you guys had fun too uh can't wait to go back you know caught my first fish on the first time i ever used like a crappie rod crappie setup and uh caught a bass on it he was a little guy but you know to me he was big enough <laughs> but i had a lot of fun and you know what this is texas all water fishing so you know any any way that i can fish i'm gonna try any opportunity that i get to go fish i'm gonna give it a shot uh not the best at anything but I, I certainly will try almost anything but thanks again guys i hope you had fun and going out with me and hopefully we'll, i'll be able to get out there and do it real soon uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go ahead and do so like the video leave a comment all of that stuff really helps helps out a lot and uh yeah hopefully next time you catch me hooking up thanks